Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to talk about websites, how to build your own website, how to make it your portfolio, how to create a blog, anything you want. It's going to be a really simple tutorial. As always, I'm going to show the end result first. My end result is my own website, tutorials.ramondev.net. I have a subdomain, my domain, and my .next extension. And I have a pretty website very simple i link my videos here you can come here and check my video you can read some explanations about them you can check the archives it's pretty pretty good you can post anything you want it's your own website you can even use it for game backends with databases for your characters for leaderboards anything you want so let's start with um the, ser the service i use i use nixie host why do i use nixie host well it's the most reliable one they're not i'm not getting paid for this i'm gonna link you and if you click my link i'm gonna get a discount on my next uh fee but that's it it's not even a big discount so they're not they don't even know i'm making this tutorial but yeah so nixiehost is my selected um go to service because i've been in other services and they haven't really provided with what i needed because there was when you have a, uh, a website on a bots bad service what happens is they may just die and they will not give you an explanation they will not let you know next hosts if they have problems with they haven't yet with me they will let you know and there's a lot of good support i know the support people and they're pretty good and well let's just get started the first thing you need to do is think of a domain and think of how much you want to spend six stocks six dollars per month gives you one domain and you have unlimited space for your website which is fine I use professional instead of basic because it lets me have as many websites as I want inside one domain and they also give you one free domain. So that's 10 bucks for free. I mean, comparison is just a, a little discount and they give you a, a necessary certi certificate too for your website. So also you need to first think of your domain. I want my nine bucks one, for example, and I want to think of a domain. So I have this example that I thought of which is whatever you want hello.com when you hit search yeah, the service will search if there's anyone who has this and there's no one so I have ten dollars I can already reserve it for a bunch of years if I want uh, they give me another options whatever you want welcome whatever you want hello whatever you want like different excuse me different ways different examples different domains then you hit go click to continue and now you can select your hosting you can select your name server you can select let's, let's go to hosting so we can check it out so i want shared hosting because i don't have much money and we go with i'm gonna go with professional since as you can see you can just have it anywhere you want and now they give you the choice of you want that domain that you were talking about you want a new one you have already have a domain you want to bring it over for free or i will use my existing domain if you have another website and you will update your name servers i have no idea what that means i went with transfer your domain so after you do this and you you know you pay you wait for a couple of days one two days and they set everything up for you you can go to your c panel what's a c panel well, your cPanel is your control panel for your website. You just enter your username and your password and you will be you will open this menu over here, which has all these options. You can set it up as whatever you want. But you know, this is a tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to set up two types, those two types of, of simple websites. Well, they're not this one's very simple, but the other one is not. So, the way you do this this first one is you go to your site publisher, you click here, and you will be presented with this page. You see all your subdomains. I'll teach you how to create subdomains in a second. And but for now, I'm just gonna select this one. You select any template that you want. I'm gonna click under the construction. I don't like that one. I'm gonna click VCard Dev. And so they give you all this text. You can just select your name, the prefix, 
subtitle, phone number, fax number for people to contact you while you're building your website. Or you can just have this as a presentation card for your friends, for your friends, for your client, for whoever. As soon as you publish, well, if I don't change anything, it's going to be the same one as this one. But since I have this one, I added my one of my old images. I changed some of the text. It's just really quick. As you could see, it's just a matter of giving this some text. And that way, this will happen. I'm going to remove And I'm going to choose, just for kicks, this color. Oops, I didn't save it. This color. And I'm going to hit publish. When I hit publish, it's going to delete what I had before, which is just a test, so it doesn't matter, and add a new one, a new um, installation. So while it's doing that, I'm going to go over to, oh, well, it already did it. So I'm going to refresh my website. There you go. It loaded and you can download this card. Well, this is not me, of course, but <laughs> this is a really simple but really effective website maker. Just a site publisher for you to have a simple presentation card for your clients. You can have a list of your games here. You can have anything you want. So let's go to subdomains. This is the second type of um, website. So creating a subdomains means subdomain means that you know you see how i have ramondev.net just says here but i also i do have tutorials that ramondev.net here but what i did was i created a subdomain called tutorials.ramondev.net this tutorial links to my folder public.html i mean public underscore html slash tutorials and since that's linked if I if anyone goes to ramondev.net slash tutorials, they will be presented with this website. And so, okay, we have our subdomain created. It's quite simple. You just you know put your name here, put your name here, boom, that's it. We're going to go to installer. There's every website. All these control panels have and have installers. Substack this this thing. Substaculous apps installer. Once I click it, you can install anything you want in your website. There's a lot of stuff. There's chat, there's uh, forums, there's anything. This, you can do anything. But for now, we're going to install WordPress. You hit install here, you will be asked where to install it. So I have all my subdomains here, I can install it wherever you want. I would recommend you have this deleted so it installs directly in the root of your of your folders of your website and then um, choose your name all of this all of this you can change except the admin account you have to select an admin account that you will not forget a good password and an admin email so that people can contact you if there's any issues you also get other information on your email account you can choose your theme you can change all this later and then you hit install once you hit install you have a really simple bare bones website but then you can go to your after you do that important you do slash wp dash login that php on your browser and that will bring you to the login screen and after you log in with the data that you said, you will see this beautiful dashboard. You can write blog posts. You can add an about page. You can view, of course, you can view your site. And that's it, guys. That's that's the way it goes. You can go to your post. You can add a new post. As soon as you add a new post, it's up in your website. Everything works. No downtime. This is the best. So. I'm going to say this is over. Thank you for watching. I don't want to make this too long. I'll see you guys later. If you have any questions, as always, contact Discord, contact on YouTube, contact by email. And that's it. That's the tutorial. I'm going to go with a short end slate right now. 
so you guys get some recommendations um, for another video. Quick end slate, please remember that you can watch any of my videos and they're all pretty informational. Um, my next video is going to be about ink, how to make a visual novel on, um, on Unity. It's going to be the start, we're going to make a wrapper for it, it's going to be pretty interesting. If you guys like my videos, don't forget to, you know, share to your friends, maybe support on Patreon if you feel like it. I always upload all, all my project files for Unity, for Unity tutorials on my Patreon only, I paid only sub posts. But, you know, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next end slate. This has been very fun.